to my channel and welcome back to Rodent Reply, the series on my channel where I answer your questions about rats and mice. Now probably one of the most common questions I get asked on my channel in the comments section and also on Instagram is, my rats or my mice really smell, I'm cleaning them often and I really don't know what to do to reduce the smell, what do you suggest? Now I'm not going to lie to you and say that rats and mice don't have a smell, sometimes they will have a certain odour, but there are things that you can do to manage this. Now it's very natural for rats and mice to smell, this is just something that we have to come to accept. It's very normal for them in the wild and also here in our homes to scent mark. Scent marking is really useful for rats and mice because it tells other rats and mice information about them, it can tell them about their social status, their reproductive status, their health status, their age, things like that. So scent marking is a really important communication method between small rodents. Female rats and mice will scent mark a lot less than males but they do still scent mark because it is a really important thing in both their social behaviour and just to make them feel secure and safe in their own environment, they really like things to smell like them. So that is great for them but sometimes to us it can be a little bit of a pain, sometimes the smell can get very overpowering and you maybe want to do something about that because although they enjoy smelling like themselves you may not enjoy the odour, it's important not to do too much to rectify this but there are some things you should do and some things you should check that you're doing right first just to make sure that you are keeping on top of the smell. Now when I'm talking about rats and mice smelling I'm mainly talking about their urine, that is usually the most overpowering smell in the cage, their poo doesn't usually smell too bad but it is mostly the urine that you're smelling when you come into the room and when you're close to your rat's cage that is usually the most overpowering smell. Now if your rats are really smelling strongly of urine this is not a good sign because that means there's a lot of ammonia build up and not only is this unpleasant for you but it's also really harmful to your rats it can irritate their respiratory system so you need to make sure that they're not smelling too strongly of ammonia. Now it does also make sense that the more rats you have, naturally the more they're going to smell. If you're keeping them in a cage like mine, this cage back here is meant for about 6 to 8 rats and if you are keeping 8 rats in there then it is going to smell a lot more because they have less surface area to use as a bathroom and scent mark so the smell is going to build up a lot quicker. The same goes for if you are housing them in a relatively small cage, one that is still acceptable but has quite a small base. You're going to put limited bedding in there and then this is just going to cause the smell to build up quicker. So it's definitely important to pick a cage that is definitely the right size for them but is also a little bit bigger than what the maximum amount of rats can hold just to make sure that you are giving them enough surface area so that the smell doesn't build up too much. Now a common mistake that a lot of people unfortunately make is trying to mask the smell of their rats or mice. This can be really detrimental to your rats and mice's health because they can really affect their respiratory systems. If you're using something like candles, incense, diffusers, essential oils, any sprays that emit a spray into the room, so anything like air fresheners, anything that basically emits a scent to try and mask bad smells is going to be really harmful to your rats and mice. They can really irritate their respiratory system, so I'll just avoid using these at all costs. I have used something called Neutral in the past, and this is something you can find in either Poundland or Wilco's if you live in the UK. This is really useful because it does take in all the bad odours from the room and kind of like suck them in, so that's something that I've used before and I believe is safe for rats. If you're also willing to invest the money into it, getting an air purifier can also really be helpful in drawing in those bad smells out of your room, but just make sure that the air purifier you get is not an ionising one, or that you have the ionising filter switched off. So the most obvious source of bad smells in your rats and mice is going to be the cage and how you go about cleaning it. Now the most common mistake, and this is something that I get told a lot by people here in my comments and also on Instagram, is people saying that they're cleaning their cage a couple times a week and still finding that the rats and mice smell, or in fact that they smell even more than they did before. This is a really common mistake that people make, which is over cleaning. I'd recommend only cleaning out your rats and mice at most once a week. If you are cleaning too frequently and wiping away all of their scent, this is only going to promote them to scent mark more because they want to feel comfortable and have their environment smell like them. So this is only going to cause them to smell more. Again, the size of your cage that you have is also really important. If you have a smaller cage, then you are probably going to have to clean it out a lot more frequently. I found that after having this cage behind me, I'm not having to clean them out quite as often as I did when they were in a smaller cage. Just because there is more surface area and I am able to put more bedding in, I actually find it easier having a bigger cage than I did having a smaller cage, which I didn't think I would, but it's definitely a lot easier to keep on top of because there is more bedding to absorb any bad smells. Something else you can do in between the weekly or two weekly cleaning is spot cleaning. This is just basically going around the cage and picking up any stray poos that you find, wiping down any surfaces that have got particularly disgusting, and this just keeps on top of things before you can do a full clean without having to disturb your rats and mouse's scent in the whole entire cage. Spot cleaning is just a really good way to keep on top of things in between cleans. 
I found that mostly plastic items in the cage cause my rats and mice to pee on them a lot more. Anything like Sputniks or enclosed plastic hidey houses with like a flat plastic bottom, they love to pee on these. So what I just do is put some of the main bedding in the cage into these or tissue bedding just to absorb it. And then I'll check on this, which I know are like high traffic areas for them to pee in and just clean these out when I'm spot cleaning. So I definitely would recommend keeping on top of either wiping these things down or just taking them out of the cage completely. Similar to this, I found that shelves are an absolute pee magnet when it comes to especially rats. My mice don't have any shelves in their cage, but rats having shelves in their cage, they just love to pee on these. Again, they just want their whole environment to smell like them. And shelves are a really convenient place for them to just drop out of their hammocks and pee on. So I would recommend either covering your shelves in something that is absorbent or just completely taking them out altogether because they will love to pee on shelves and it can just be a bit of a hassle to continuously have to keep wiping down the shelves. Something else that may help when it comes to shelves is putting a litter tray on that shelf. I found that my rats like to go to the toilet in the corner of that shelf because rats do naturally enjoy going to the toilet in corners. So if you have some litter trays, I definitely recommend putting them on the shelf in the corner of the shelf just to prevent them from going on there. But they may still like pee on the shelf itself, which in that case, you may just have to take it out. On the topic of litter trays, I definitely recommend that you try to litter train your rats. Mice are a little bit trickier and I haven't really attempted to litter train them, but my rats are semi litter trained and it definitely helps when it comes to cleaning up their mess when it is all in one place. So I definitely recommend trying to train your rats to use a litter tray. I have a whole separate video on litter training rats, which I'll leave in the iCards and also down in the description below if you're interested. But litter training is a really important and really useful tool to have when keeping rats. And potentially mice if you can litter train them, but I found that rats are relatively easy to litter train, although you will get some lazy rats that will just ignore the litter tray and go wherever they want. But if you can successfully manage to train your rats to use a litter tray, then it is really helpful. Another source of really bad smell that you may find in your cage is wooden items. My rats aren't too bad with this, but my mice especially love to pee on any wooden items they have in their cage. The pee soaks in and after time these items can really start smelling. You may be cleaning your cage and wondering why the cage still smells. That's probably because the cage items themselves are actually really smelling, so it's really important to keep on top of cleaning them too. Cleaning these is as simple as just taking them out and soaking them in a mixture of like vinegar and warm water or just leaving them outside for a period of time and then bringing them back in after they're dry. It's just really useful to get all the pee out and get a fresh smelling wooden toy again. After time, I do find that you do have to just throw some away, which is a little bit disappointing, but especially with male mice, wooden toys, I'd say keep to a limited. Definitely have plenty in the cage for them to enjoy. But I did find having a male mouse, I had to limit the amount of wooden toys that he had because I was constantly trying to clean them and he was just a very stinky boy. So wooden toys are definitely a really bad harbor for bad smells. Another source of smell in your cage, which you may not have thought of, is the actual bars themselves. Now when cleaning the cage, it's often a step that most people kind of forget to do. But as your rats and mice are climbing up and down all the cages, they will naturally be scent marking these too. So it is really important from time to time to wipe down the bars. You don't have to do this every time that you clean, but I found that doing it about once a month or a little bit longer definitely helps. The cage bars can get a little bit sticky at times, which is kind of gross, but if you're feeling that it is sticky, then that probably means that they have scent marked it, which probably means that it is also a source of any bad smell. So I definitely recommend just wiping these bars down occasionally to keep on top of the smell. Something else that is really important when it comes to especially mice is when you are cleaning them out, I'd say put about a third of the dirty old bedding back in with the clean bedding. This does sound kind of counteractive in the fact that you are cleaning them, but by putting in the old bedding, this just gives them a bit more of their scent back to make them more familiar with their cage. If you give them a fresh, completely wiped down cage, it's just gonna promote them to scent mark more. So by giving them things like cage items that smell like them and also a little bit of the old bedding back into their cage, they should hopefully keep on top of the smell because they're not going to be feeling like they need to keep scent marking the cage if it already smells like them as soon as you put them back in. Rats on the other hand, I don't really do this with them. I just take all of the bedding out when I'm cleaning. But I do make sure to put items in that they are familiar with. So any wood of items that they may have scent marked slightly, I put these all back in just so that they don't feel like they need to go crazy and scent mark the whole cage. So the next important thing to think about when wondering why your rats or mice smell is the bedding that you're using. Now the bedding that you're using in your rats and mice's cage is usually the main factor in how much they smell. I know a lot of you aren't going to be happy with me saying this, but I really don't recommend that you use fleece with rats or mice. 
Now there are many reasons why I don't think fleece is a great bedding for rats or mice, but the main one in terms of this video is that it's the least absorbent bedding, probably out of all the beddings out there on the market. The pee is just going to soak through the fleece and sit there, and this is going to cause the smell and the ammonia to build up, which is why I don't think it's a really good bedding in terms of odour control. If you are using fleece, you may find that you have to change it and wash it a couple of times a week, because it does start smelling after a couple of days of ammonia and pee, and at the end of the day, if you're smelling ammonia in your cage, this is also not going to be good for your rats and mice, because it is going to irritate their respiratory system, so I really don't think that fleece is a good bedding when it comes to odour control. So when it comes to picking a bedding, don't be tempted to go for any scented beddings. These are really bad because they can also irritate your small animal's respiratory system, so avoid any scented beddings like scented Carefresh and things like that. I'd also avoid those little odour granule things you can buy in pet stores that claim to cover up bad odours. Again, this is only going to be covering up the odours, and it's also not the most healthy thing to put in your rats and mice's cage, so avoid those little odour granule things that you can buy. This video will get too long if I talk too much about bedding, but I really like using absorbent beddings like Aspen or Hemp. The bedding that I'm using right now with my rats and my mice is a brand called Orbos, and I've so far found it really, really absorbent, so I definitely recommend looking into beddings and finding one that is going to be the most absorbent if you're having issues with odour control. I'd also recommend using a different bedding in the litter tray, not just for litter training purposes, but for absorbency as well. So I use paper-based beddings in my litter tray, so either Back to Nature or Biocatalette are two beddings that I use that are available in the UK that I put in my litter trays. These are just really absorbent cat beddings. I'd avoid any that are like clumping cat beddings or clay-based cat beddings, but paper ones are really good for putting in the litter trays and helping keep the odour down. Another point that I just wanted to talk about quickly that may also be affecting the way your rats smell is their diet. The things that you feed your rats and mice are really important. If you're feeding your rats and mice a poor quality, cheap diet, then it is going to show on the outside in their overall condition, but it's also going to show when they go to the toilet because what goes in must come out. So when it comes to rats especially, having a higher protein diet is not great for them health-wise, but it's also not good for what comes out the other end. Rats should not have a diet that has more than 15% protein at most. So try to pick foods that have a lower protein level than this, just to avoid their poo smelling, but also to improve their general health overall. Mice do need a little bit more protein than rats, but it's still really important that you're getting the protein levels right, and making sure that you are feeding them a high quality food, just to make sure that one, their health overall is really good, but also that what's coming out the other end is not too unpleasant. It's also really important not to cheap out when it comes to buying your rats and mice's food. I know it can be really tempting to just go for the cheapest option, but these often have really poor protein sources and aren't going to be great for your rats and mice. They can cause a lot of issues, but ultimately a poor quality diet can lead to a lot of health issues with your rats and mice, so this will be mirrored in things that come out of the other end, so their poop, but it can also be shown in their body condition overall, so they may get oily skin, things like that if you're feeding them a really inappropriate diet. Another thing that's really important to consider is to not feed your rats and mice vegetables too often or too much in one go. Although it is really important to give your rats and mice a varied diet and offer them fresh food, sometimes you can give them too much. Especially if they haven't tried vegetables before, if they haven't tried a certain type of vegetable, you don't want to be giving them too much because it can upset their stomach and cause them to have diarrhea, which isn't going to be pleasant for you but it's also not nice for them and can affect them health-wise if they're constantly having diarrhea because they're being fed an inappropriate diet that is too high in vegetables, this can cause them to get dehydrated, but ultimately it will cause them to smell a lot more if they have diarrhea in the cage, so I try to limit the amount of vegetables you feed them. I wouldn't feed them every day and I wouldn't give them a massive bowl full. It definitely is important to give your rats vegetables occasionally, but just make sure you're not giving too much. But yeah, that is everything that I could think of when it comes to maintaining and keeping on top of bad smells when it comes to rats and mice. They do, at the end of the day, have a natural smell to them. I've kind of got a little bit nose blind to this, and you probably will. After keeping them for a certain amount of time, you will get used to their just natural smell. But it is really important to keep on top of it and make sure that they don't smell too much for you and for also the rats and the mice that are having to live with their smell. If you have any other suggestions or questions about rats and mice that you'd like me to answer in a future room replies, definitely leave them down in the comments and I'll take a look at those and pick one to be my next topic in a future video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see any future animal related videos from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!